All right, uh, hypothesis testing for when um, uh, the population standard deviation is known. So when it's known, we do a Z test. In the next uh, lesson, it's going to be unknown, and that'll be a T test. Okay, and I'm splitting this one up into two parts right here. So, so um, uh, using p values to make a decision. So if your p value is less than your level of significance, that's what this is. Our area. This is our sigma uh, symbol. Then we reject our our null hypotheses. If it's greater than, then we fail to reject. Okay, so here's a p-values for the hypothesis test is 0 0.0237. What decision should we have when the, uh, when the level of significance is at um, uh, 0 0.05? Okay, so this is less than 0 0.05, so at the 5% level, we're going to go ahead and reject uh, the null hypotheses, okay? Now, 0 0.0237 is greater than 0 0.01, so at the 1% level, we're going to fail to reject the hypotheses, okay? So finding the p-value for our hypotheses test. For a left-tailed test, p is the area to the left. For the right, it's uh, p is the area to the right, okay? And so remember, our z-scores give you the areas to the left. So if it's a right tail, you got to do 1 minus that to get the area to the right, okay? So for a two-tailed test, it's going to be twice the area of your test statistics, okay? So the lower the p-value, the more evidence there is in favor of rejecting our null. All right, so find the p-value for a left-tailed hypothesis test with the um, uh, test statistics of z equals negative um, 2.23. So we're going to look up uh, our z-score table and look in the area, the body, to see if it's uh, enough to reject it at the 1% level. Okay, so here's, um, uh, always draw a bell-shaped curve, and bell-shaped curves usually have 0 in the middle, well, yeah, if we're doing a z-test, and then negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 to the left, and 1, 2, 3 to the right. Okay, so negative 2.33 would be just a little bit past negative 2, so there would be our rejection region we're going to talk about in the next uh, lesson. So, use the table, and, uh, and if you look up z equals negative 2.33, we find that the area is 0 0.0129. Okay, now is 0 0.0129 less than 0 0.01? Uh, no, it's greater than, so we're going to fail to reject the null hypotheses, all right? So let's find the p-value for a two-tailed hypotheses test with the test statistics of z equals 2.14. Decide whether we're going to reject uh, at the 5% level. Okay, so here's 2.14 is going to be right, right past 2, okay? So 2.14 would be this right here. Now when we look up 2.14, it's going to give us the whole area to the left. So to get this area, we're going to have to do 1 minus that. Okay, so the whole area to the left of 2.14 is 0.9838. So if we do 1 minus that, that'll get me this little dude right here. Okay, so the area of this is 0 0.0162. But if it's a two-tailed test, i got to double it. So the other side's also... 0 0.0162. So multiply it by 2 and we get 0 0.0324. And since that is less than 0 0.05, we should reject our null hypotheses at the 5% level. All right. If you're in my class, you're going to be working on that today.